tribe so I'm just chilling um, I'm debating whether to have a nap because in case you haven't realised I'm lying in my bed there's granddad's blanket behind me and up there's my swatch board a nice snuggly bed or to get up and record a vlog now because the house is empty and quiet Ooh, just had a YouTube comment from Love Empress 5 hmm interesting you've just seen my machine knitting vlog so yes I think I'm gonna get up and vlog now because the house is quiet and I can edit it later in the week I'm just enjoying my Sunday snuggles Darcy is asleep under the quilt snoring and I was just reading this and let's see if we can find anyone that doesn't like dogs is going to be appalled that he's in my bed I don't care <sighs> nice squishy bed <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna set up, am I gonna record? I just don't like it. Hey tribe, welcome to HGDC, HG Designs Crochet. I'm Heather, your host, and this is my channel all about crochet and knitting and living a general yarny life. So if you are brand new, hey, hello and welcome. Thank you for spending this time with our little tribe. And if you're returning, thank you for coming back, guys. So today, I am sat slightly differently um, you can see my sign a little bit better. It is a grey day and so there's a lot of shadows. Um, I know, I know, I need to sort the lighting out. I'm going to get to it. Um, I also want to change my intro, like this is my channel all about crochet and knitting or a general yarny life. I just want it to sound a bit more gangster. I don't know, a little bit more G. So, any ideas, comment below. <laughs> Oh dear, I'm not re-recording this because I've done it about eight times. Um, I think I'm gonna put some of that outtakes in just because, lol. So, today I'm gonna show you, first of all I'm gonna do the little YouTuber thing and be like, I got my drink, mm -hmm. mm. straight bees with my drink. So this is Twining's Sleep, I know. It's three o'clock in the afternoon, but after I've had, after I've recorded this, I'm having a nap. And it is spiced apple, chamomile, and something else. And it smells beautiful. I know you can't sniff it, but if you could sniff. It's a spiced apple. Oh, it's like a winter hug. Um, so yeah, just done my YouTube. I got a drink <laughs> from being so extra today. <sighs> Not re-recording. Okay. Calm. Behave yourself. I've got my drink, <laughs> which we've established. And I got a new product. Well, it's a finished object to show you. There's some ends sticking out, which is how you know I made it. So I've done a pair of mittens. Why would you do that? One thumb goes up, one thumb goes down. 
<laughs> oh, come on. I've finished a pair of mittens. I have just a couple of ends to sew in there and some on the thumb. Um, but yeah, pair of mittens. So I should explain. I am trying to use my stash. I've just found some more ends. I'm trying to use my stash to make as many items as possible that are wearable for my me made wardrobe. Um, I think I've already put up the vlog where I go on and on about sustainability and me made and all the rest of it. And look at those ends. I'm going to snip them off. This is one of the objects. I get the bus to work, um, which takes about you know, 25, 30 minutes, but it's cold now in the winter in the UK. Well, we're probably in autumn, but it's definitely more winter now, and it's getting pretty freezing cold in the mornings. Um, there's been like a few one degree mornings so far, so to keep me warm, I decided to make some mittens. Um, I do really like them. Let me tell you their story. I got home last week sometime. Or was it the week before? I think it might have been last week. I'm going to go with just over a week and then it's the best of both. And um, I just decided I was going to cast on a pair of mittens. I had a book, have a book, called The Knitster, which I'm going to grab. The Knitster, which I got with some of my birthday money last December. Um, and when I picked it up, I knew I was going to make the mittens. Just at that time, I didn't feel I was a good enough knitter to make them. Um, and it was really, really cold that morning. And I just thought, right, I really need some mittens. And so, came home, picked this up, and cast them on. Um, it calls for six and a half mil needles, and it calls for 12 ply, which is chunky. I used six mil needles, and I used double knit held double, two strands of double knit. And I decided to do the main bit in grey and then the tops in the different colours and then the thumbs different colours to match. Um, now I'm going to be honest and say it's not the best thing I've ever made. <laughs> I'm really really pleased because this time last year something like this was way beyond my skills um, and I just came home, cast them on, had no problems. However I didn't really like, the pattern doesn't have any ribbing and so I decided to add ribbing but I didn't do it a needle size smaller. So, if I was, and I am, I am gonna make another pair of mittens because quite basically, I'm gonna rip these down because I don't feel they're good enough. Um, I want stuff in my wardrobe that I am proud of and that actually works and doesn't have any, you know, I just don't, I just don't like them enough, but you know, that sounds silly, but let me show you why, one of the reasons why I don't like them. Oh, look at that hole. Hi, hi, hi. Yeah, so I wasn't the greatest at picking up the thumbs and darning them in and I've definitely learned quite a few things. And as I said, this time last year, did not have the skills to do this, didn't have the skills to follow the pattern, didn't have the skills to work out what weight yarn I could use out of my stash, um, didn't have the skills to, the pattern is colour work just here, so you see this little zigzag, and I'm quite pleased with the pink, but the black I've just pulled a bit too tight and it's not as nice, but I am really pleased with that. I'm going to do that real knitter thing now and show you my floats. Mm -hmm. So I've made it as a knitter and here's my floats and they are actually really quite neat so I am really pleased with that bit. What I'm going to do is these are going to be my working pairs. I'm going to wear these until my next pair are complete um, 
purely because, as I said, I made them because it's cold out there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make another pair, but originally I was gonna modify this pattern, but really, as much as I really like wearing mittens, they're not practical because when it comes to getting on the bus to scan my pass, I have to take them off. And when it comes to, you know, you have to take them off. And so what I want is one of those pairs where they've got the flap, um, they've got all sorts of different names, glittens, flap mittens, whatever you want to call them. I want some that do that. Um, and I saw Winniewick Mum post that she's got a free pattern for a pair. So I am going to make those and then once they're done, I'm going to frog these and reuse the yarn. Um, and hopefully, now that I've done the thumbs, I know what I'll do differently. So that hole is ridiculous. This one isn't too bad at all. And you can tell, by the way, this one holds itself up and that one doesn't. And that could have been partly due to the way I darned it as well. Um, yarn, because I haven't told you, I used this grey, which is Stylecraft. And it's so soft and squishy. And this bright pink, which really is coming up bright pink. It's not that bright, right, in my hand in real life. The screen's blurring it out a bit. It's part of my Lark's Foot blanket yarn. Are you straight? I feel like I've set you very wonky. You seasick yet? Is that better? Hmm. Um, the pink is from my Lark's Foot blanket and I decided that I am just going to put a border on what I've already got and not add it and the border's just going to be cream so I'm using this up. Um, it's... I do like the colours together but that's just a little bit too much pink for me and so what I'm going to do on the Winniewick Mum mittens is I think I'm going to do I think I'm going to do the body in grey and the flap in black and then the thumb in pink I think um, or I could just do them all one solid colour but I've started a matching scarf and for an order for the new mittens to match the scarf, I need these three colours in there. Maybe I could do the ribbing on each one a different colour and the thumb and then leave the whole thing in the main colour. That's also another good idea. Um, so as I said, I'm, I'm working on a matching scarf. I have committed a knitting crime and I've stopped halfway through a round. So for the scarf that I'm making, my own pattern by the way, if you're on Patreon, I've been posting about this. Um, I, oh gosh, this is why you shouldn't stop in the middle of a round. I'm using my nine mil Addy glitter needles. Um, I'm holding the yarn, double knit yarn again, double. And I really, really like this. Now I've just got part way through a colour section, colour work, and then I've decided to stop. So that's not helpful. Um, I wanted it to match my mittens. Um, and so I was actually designing this before my mittens were finished, before I decided I'm scrapping the mittens. Um, and I've done it to match, I've put rib at the bottom and then I did the chevron, which by the way, it looks really, really good. I haven't pulled too tight. My floats look fleek. Floats on fleek. <laughs> wow, that's the name for this podcast right there. Floats on fleek. Um, <laughs> so extra. Oh dear. I think it might be sleep deprivation. Maybe it's because I'm really tired and this is what you're getting. Um, and then I've done a, a, like a long section in the grey. I was going to say the body, but the whole thing's going to be the body. And then I'm going into the pink um, colour work. Again, floats on fleek. And 
Then I'm going to do um, like a chunk, maybe this big, about three inches maybe. And then I'm going to do the black into the chevron um, zigzag and then do that about three inches. Then go back to the grey and then I'm going to um, finish off with pink and then in the rib. And I was originally, when I was designing this, I designed it to hang down like a conventional scarf but that quickly morphed into having it as a cowl which means it will be like this which I think lends itself better to the fact that I've just done it straight is this stockinette stitch um, because if I was going to have it hang down like a regular scarf I should have done it two by two all the way through but there is no way I am knitting an entire scarf in that because it takes ages and it's boring and I wasn't sure about doing the um, colour work section across ribbing. Oh, look how pretty it is. Floats on fleek. Pretty colour work. So this is going to, and again, it doesn't help that I'm halfway through a row. Let's see if we can do this. It's going to wrap around like so. Oh, that's so beautiful. Um and then the two so this will be the back and i'm going to join here once i've cast off on this end i'm going to whip stitch slip stitch mattress stitch whichever one you want to call it down the center up the center and then it's going to come around like this so just here at the front you're going to see the pink and the black and it's going to go back round into gray and then pink into this bit i might do it so that it's three wraps in length though I say that and roll my eyes because knitting that bit was boring. Super boring. If it wasn't for the fact that I took it to the machine knitting group and was working on it whilst everything was going on, I'd have put it down by now. Um, so I guess there's some merit in mindless knitting. Um, but it's so soft, it's so warm. And my other thought is because of the pretty floats, floats on fleek <laughs> uh, um i did think about maybe folding this in half like so so that when it's wrapped round not only is it going to be mega mega warm it doesn't matter if it gets twisted when you wrap because you're not going to see that spill through anywhere um so yeah what do you think should i shouldn't i I have no idea which direction this knitting's going in. So mittens, scarf. Which is why I think as well, with the Winniewick Mum pattern, I'm gonna do the ribbon in the pink, rib, ribbon, ribbing in pink, because it will then match. Oh, my brain's just said maybe I can put that zigzag in at the bottom of the mittens, then do the whole thing in grey, and then do my thumb in black. Well, just answered that one. So I'm going to make a pair of mittens <laughs> with the Winniewick Mum. I'm going to try and put this in, um, and then I'm going to oh, hopefully attach the thumb properly, pick up the stitches properly, um, have a really good solid mitten with a flap um, I'm going to have to pick buttons I wonder where my buttons are pink or grey or black black buttons and then I'll be able to show you a matching set because this is my pattern I'll be able to share it um, the mittens the Winniewick Mum one I can always share the differences that I made on my Ravelry page um, but yeah, what do you think? It'd be helpful if I wasn't attached to so many strings. Oh, it is really warm and squishy. Um, and I'm really looking forward to that being done because I've been using last year's scarf, which is the um, Granny Bandana by Zines and Roger. Um, and it is really warm, but it's just gone a bit... Um, not fluffy it's pilled maybe you can just tell I've worn it a lot and that it's been washed um I have worn that scarf solid throughout last winter and 
last winter didn't finish until March because we were having snow up until March. So yeah, it's been worn a lot. Um, but that's a good thing because you want your handmade items to be worn. So as soon as my new mittens are done, I'm going to rip these down and reuse the yarn. Um, but it was fun making them. Like the body of the mitten built up really quickly. Um, the colour work on this one was fine. I had no problems. I think it took me a couple of attempts because I knit these in the round rather than deep ends. Um, and when I started the colour work, when I followed the stitches, the instructions, the zigzag was actually just like a stacked like this rather than doing the basically I started round one here and started round two directly on top rather than staggering it over a stitch and so I had to rip it back to work out what I'd done and as soon as I figured that out it was fine um, I had no problems with that and then this one I knit really really quickly on the way to Bugsy Malone oh, Bugsy Malone I had such a good time um, I'll put a little bit of footage in there if any of you are Bugsy Malone fans Probably not, because I'm the only person I know who knits and loves Bugsy Malone, but whatever. Well, that's not true, because my housemate does as well, but you know what I mean. Bugsy Malone. Oh. <sighs> Just got so much respect for him. But anyway, anyway, I was knitting this on the way to Bugsy Malone. Got really, really far with it and realised I hadn't left a hole for the thumb. So I had to rip it back. I was, I was pretty... I was... You know when you think, yeah, this is going really, really well, I'm doing really, really well. And then I, like, slipped my hand into it and was like, oh, where's my thumb going? So I ripped it back and then I went to my church group in the evening, um, like the day after. Was it the day after? A couple of days later, of the same weekend, basically. Um, having ripped it back, ready to go, and then I realised... I saw I then I put a thumb hole in, did a few rows and thought I'll just check and I put my hand in and I realised that the thumb hole was on the wrong side. So I took it back and I put it in the right place and then I I think just because I was trying to focus a little bit too much on this as well as church group, I had to put this down because I needed to focus on my present moment. Um and when, when I did pick it back up again, I just pulled it a bit too tight. I think you can just tell I was a little bit more aggy that day. Can you see? Like the, it's a lot crisper on here than it is there. Um, and I don't think my floats are on fleek on this one. No, they're not bad. It's just that the black bits have been pulled too tight. I'm still going to say floats on fleek. Um... Yeah, you can just see here that how tight they've been pulled, um, which then means that my zigzags are just a little bit blurred. Um, we just need a little bit more room to breathe. So yeah, don't knit colour work when you're feeling a bit aggy. I also learnt that I do really enjoy colour work um, and I've been like in my bullet journal, which I did bring down to show you, I've been like, because it's squared paper, working out other designs I want to work on and then obviously morphed it into this. Um, one thing I was thinking of doing is just adding a very, like one line, one line, one row, maybe here, in pink, just of the zigzag. Or should I just leave it like the bold blocks? This is so warm. Mm. I want to make a jumper out of it as well now. Um, I wonder if I'll have enough left of my grey to add into a jumper. Ooh. This is just so soft. So yes, I'm loving colour work. And I'm really, really grateful that these mittens gave me the push to try a new skill um, and I'd like to try more colour work patterns um, 
I don't know if I should try some colour work socks or something. I'd like to try a bit more colour work. It's It's been fun. So the mittens was from the knit stuff. The cowl pattern I'm making up myself. Um, and then I'm going to make some new mittens from Winnie Wick Mum. Then in terms of other projects, I have turned my attention to um, Christmas knitting, Christmas crochet. I feel like I've, knitting's really took over the last few weeks. But um, I'm working on the yarn that I got from Rito Yarn. I'm working on um, a couple of presents for my niece and my friend's daughters. Um, because we're in November already, guys, and suddenly Christmas is not that far away and I've got loads of gifts that I wanted to make. Um, so, in terms of showing you the Christmas makes, I can show you my nieces, but I can't really show you my friend's stuff. I can definitely show you the Rito, and I'm going to record its own vlog. Um, so I think I'm going to be one of them annoying YouTubers that says, here's my drink, and I can't show you what I'm working on because it's a secret. I'm one of them now, soz. But hopefully I'll be able to show you a few snippets and normally I just message my friend and say don't watch if you don't want it to be, a, if you want it to be a surprise. So yeah, right. I think I've rambled enough. My voice is going again and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna put this room back to rights and I'm gonna go have a nice quick nap and then I'm going to Oh, I've got a couple of choices. I can either have a bath and read my crochet magazine that I've not got round to yet, and then move on to Harry Potter, or I can sit in bed with Netflix and either watch Once Upon a Time or Sabrina, because I haven't started that yet, and knit on this cow. So which one? Or maybe a mix of both? So I'm going to go and enjoy some lovely yarn therapy. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog and seeing what I'm working on. I don't know if you've realised but um, my focus has changed quite a bit. Um, I'd definitely say when I started this um, channel I was the maker of all things and I'd have like 800 projects on the go. Whereas now I am very much focused on like the one item and getting that done. Um, yeah, it's, it's different even for me. Um, but I just feel like I, I am getting more done by being more focused. And definitely when I went glamping, which was back in May, I think I vlogged then to say that how nice it was just to have the one project to work on well okay not one i took three with me but i had those three projects just that three lots of yarn and depending on what i was doing i then um so, so say for example i'm going in the car then i might want a more portable project as opposed to like something a bit bigger that i can do if i'm just sat in bed chilling watching a film and i did really enjoy that and I felt less overwhelmed by this knowing that I had set projects to work on so I've rattled them off they flew off the hook needles needles all by themselves um this I started when did I start this I think that's only been a couple of days worth of work Let's think about it. I think I started it on Tuesday and today's Sunday and I haven't touched it since Friday. Yeah, that's right. So yeah, a few a few days work. Um and I've also got socks on the go, um, which I think I will forevermore have socks on the go. One, because of the size of my stash up there. And two, because they're just a great project that you can take anywhere. So I took, I've been working on my Dotty Socks by Potter and Bloom. 
um, which you'll have seen in the last few vlogs, using the golden, yellow golden yarn from Homespun Wonders. And they have been the socks that I've been working on at church, that I've been working on if I just nip somewhere. Um, that's the knitting that sometimes in the morning, when I'm getting the bus to work, I think I'd rather read today and I'll read and some days I take my knitting and that's my go-to portable project. So I will always have socks that you can just pick up and work on. Um, but I'm really, really loving having a much more simpler life and just really focusing on individual projects. And it means that you're actually seeing quite a lot of finished objects, which never really happened for me before, did it? Like, I'd just be like, oh, hey, no finished projects, but I started all of the things. <laughs> so, right, stop rambling, Heather. Stop taking up the tribe's time. I hope you have some wonderful, wonderful knitting, crochet, whatever it is, time. Um, thank you so much for liking all my videos and all your comments. Um, I know the machine knitting vlog was a lot smaller than what they normally are. Um, but I had some really cool comments on them, um, which that went live today, so I'm still reading them. Um, little, little, little secret. I've got a knitting machine. Mm -hmm. There's going to be more vlogs. I've got a knitting machine. Can't wait. So, enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Enjoy the rest of your week until I see you again. I hope you get plenty of time to spend making and that you take some time for yourself and take care of you. And I will see you again soon. Happy making.